a new year. It comes new flavors of foods and drinks from around the world. And here to show us the latest food and beverage trends already serving up style in 2024 is entertaining, entertaining expert Paul Zahn. Paul, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. 12 months of food and I beverage. Know. I mean, come on, let's and get started. And I feel started. like there's always a trend with everything. Mm -hmm. So there's got to be trends in food, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so we're going to talk global. There's something coming from Europe right now. What is, what's here? It what do I need to eat? Tinned fish. And I'm not talking okay. about chicken of the sea. This okay. is an elevated tin fish okay. situation. Like so, sardines and like stuff. Like sardines, <gasps> but we also have octopus, we have squid, Ooh. we have mackerel, we have all different types of some delicious tinned fish, which we have out there. So this is full of the good omegas, it's yeah. like good fat protein packed, easy to like bring for a picnic or something like that. So yeah. that is one that was on every list about food and beverage I'm actually a huge trends. fan of sardines. Oh, you are? And I, yeah, I am. And I got my seven-year-old into it, which is weird because like what kid likes sardines, but he's always asking for it. So that's why I keep buying it. And, and it's easy for him too. He just pop it open. Easy. Exactly. And it's got all of the good nutrients. So I'm like, okay, keep going. Yes. All right. What's going on over here? <laughs> Next up, we have um, some delicious beer that has had the alcohol removed. Okay, so, this is so we're Sam talking dry January if you're if you're still doing this. Dry January, <laughs> sober curious. We have Just the Haze by Sam Adams. So some of our favorite beverages are removing the alcohol from them. So this still has, this is an IPA, it still has that hoppy, hazy, citrus forward taste to it. And it's absolutely delicious. So I am an IPA drinker, so I'll be the judge of this to see crossed. what and Sam Ooh. Adams is a classic beer. You can't go wrong with that. That's actually really good. It's good, right? It's I I mean, I I would know that there's no alcohol okay. in this, but I would still drink this. Right. It's still really good. If right. I was trying to get like on a healthy kick or something, I, yeah. I would definitely so do this. Curious, this is so good. Dry for January. Sure. It's great for that. Definitely. Okay. So we got some food. Yes, buckwheat is going to be something really? that is super popular in 2024. So okay. buckwheat is actually a seed. It's not wheat. So it's okay. gluten free. It's high in protein, high in fiber, and it's absolutely delicious. So we have some pasta right here. And then the other part of items that is going to be super on trend this year okay. is spicy sauces. So we know hot ones that YouTube show. I feel like that sort of set this ablaze, but we yeah. have some truff right here. So truff is made from a variety of chilies and black truffle so it, it's absolutely delicious we have the og but then we have the hotter so you can do your own little hot oh. ones right here it's i was got just that gonna heat. ask how spicy this is because i can take some some heat can you take that i can take this for sure but there's definitely like a little kick right at the end there's a nice kick to it so, so um, that's really good wow. so you can find out more information at truff.com and this is actually made in southern california which okay. we which we absolutely love is there a heat level on this or is it just all the same for heat? the so the the marinara sauce is just one heat but okay. right up front here we have the, the hot, hot okay. and then the hotter so that's the new addition is the hotter okay. because people are into this and byron puck friend of the show chefs yeah. are actually featuring this type of spice at okay. their restaurants so this so isn't good. just at home this is so good i love yes. that okay water no, what's going on with water the new york There's, times is saying trending the new york times <laughs> is saying water talk so TikTok has led to this you know flourishing water situation so okay. we're going to see a lot more water sommeliers and i don't know a water sommelier but i know the choice of actual Wine sommeliers. I did not even know there was a, a water sommelier. What does that consist of? It could, like <laughs> analyzing the different waters, seeing where they're coming from. And I have a great option here, San ben Benedetto Artisanal Water from okay. Italy. So this is from the Alps of Italy. This has low sodium. It has the perfect balance of pH. It's got some nice minerality to it. Mm. So um, we have a sparkling, we have a still. So and does it have like a little bit of a saltier flavor? Because so you know is, how some waters actually have like yes. a little bit of a, like a, yeah, a brinier. Taste. This doesn't, this is low in sodium. So, and it's all natural, it's sustainably made and eco-friendly. Mm, so it's a nice bottle of water, still, They're sparkling, still water, yeah. everything like that. And it's made in Italy, which we're gonna say chow to that. We love all things Italian. Chow, you, yes. gotta, you gotta hydrate for yes. sure. Okay, these are really pretty ice cubes. What's going on over here? Along with the water, ice yeah. is going to be a big okay. thing. And it's creating fun and different unique ice situations. And if you don't wanna do it, outsource. Penny Pound in LA is a great source. My friend Camper English actually wrote a book all about ice. So water so beautiful. and ice, that's the thing. This was my own go with it. It's not as clear as it could be, but yeah. ice is a big thing. I love that. Yes. I and mean, I would use this just to make my water look pretty. A if nice you're like, mocktail yeah, situation. Or, yeah, exactly. Or yeah, if you're having like a nice cocktail or, or mocktail. Okay. okay. Speaking of mocktails. Olipop is huge. I've seen it everywhere. Botanical drinks are going to be a huge thing in 2024. Okay. I love Olipop. It has prebiotics. It has botanicals. It has plant-based fiber. Only three to five grams of sugar 
per can, which is great. Okay. Around 35 to 50 calories. So again, it's dry January, whatever's going on. Here is a non-alcoholic tropical punch. Something I also love about Olipop, they have a wide variety of flavors. And Ooh, it's amazing. so big that you can like pick these up at Costco now. Yeah, so it's amazing. such a big deal. This was so good. Well, Paul, thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much for spending part of your day with us. See you tomorrow.